Hello everyone. Today we are going to develop an NER which is named entity recognition with the help of transformers, right? So previously we have seen a lot of other applications of transformers like question answering and chatbots and a lot of others as well, right? Like summarization. Uh, we did that last week. Today we are going to see how we can input a paragraph into the transformer and how we can take output as name entity and recognition right so this will be our input and we'll try to get this output from this right so as you can see here it is telling us that spider is a person maybe right american is misc misc we will see what that means then uh, marvel comics is uh, you know uh, some thing called as org which is organization right and then stanley is a person steve ditko is a person right and amazing fantasy is misc right and uh, new york city is a location it is telling us that other than that it is telling us that richard is a person as well so is the mary becker lee right yeah, you know the gist right so it is trying to predict uh, what are the names entities and recognitions from this specific uh, you know paragraph right so without it wasting any time let's see how we can implement this with the help of python so first thing first uh, let's see what is the transformer that we are going to use for this right so the transformer that you we are using is bird transformer right and we are uh, going to use a fine-tuned uh, you know uh, method of bird that is called bird base ner and it is already fine-tuned on named entities and recognitions right so as you can see here as well it uh, you know identifies locations organizations persons and other miscellaneous uh, words right so all the words that uh, you know are not uh, in this category are not marked right as you can see happened with our paragraph right so now we'll see how we can do this in python and its implementation so it's very much easy it is only uh, you know just like that i'll just implement this it is only a few lines of code and uh, you do not need a lot of python experience just a little bit to get it started right so first thing first what do you need to do you need to open up your uh, jupyter notebook and uh, let's do that right now so after opening up your jupyter notebook what is the next step the next step is to actually install the libraries that we are going to need for this right so the only library that we are going to need for this implementation is transformers right so you need to write pip install transformers you need to download it if it is not already downloaded right in my case it is downloaded so i'll just delete that and i'll implement uh, and bring in all the libraries from transformers that i need right so there are basically two things that are needed to make this kind of uh, you know architecture and those things are a tokenizer as well as a model right so if you are familiar with transformers hugging face based transformers of course you would know that already that they, these are the two things that you need right so let's import both of them one by one so let's write from transformers transformers import uh, for tokenizer we are going to need auto tokenizer so let's write auto tokenizer and uh, for the case of uh, you know model we are going to need auto model for classification right which is known as auto model for token classification for token classification right so let's run this and after running that what is the next step the next step is to use the pipeline right so for that we are going to import uh, pipeline from transformers right so for that let's write from transformers import pipeline right and after doing that what is the next step the next step is actually 
to make a pipeline for ner which is named entity recognition right so for that we'll make a function right let's name the function as uh, classify right so let's write classify is equal to and then i'll bring in the pipeline so this is the pipeline that we are using right and we can download the models in this directly or actually let's uh, for simplicity for your understanding let's download the models first and then make this pipeline right so the two models uh, so the model that we are going to use is already uh, you know under consideration and i told you the, about that before now i am just going to copy the name of the model from hugging face so i'll go here right i will pick that up right because this is the model of course right and i'll bring it right here and i'll paste it here so tokenizer is uh, this one right we already have this we already have this right so let's run that after that we will have both tokenizer and model available to us right so the next thing that we can do is we can actually make the pipeline out of that after uh, this running is complete of course so this is now complete and in pipeline what i am going to do is i am going to write uh, tokenizer model and tell it that it is a ner pipeline right so first thing first i'll have to tell it that it is an ner pipeline right and after that what is the second step the second step can be giving it the model or the tokenizer right so let's give it the model first so for that i'll write model is equal to model and for tokenizer i'm going to write tokenizer is equal to tokenizer right okay so after doing that what is the next step the next step is actually to bring in some data on which we are going to implement this right so let's try to bring in something so let's go on google and let's write here spider-man wikipedia right so of course a lot of people are comic book fans so that's why i thought i would pick this right so let's pick it until this one and let's bring in and let's write data is equal to this right so now both of those paragraphs are in the data para right there we go as you can see now before going any further we need to understand this a little bit more about this ner pipeline about this model what will be the results from them because when we get those results we are not confused right so for that let's come here right so uh, in the same place right right here we can say that uh, on hugging face it is written that there are a few abbreviations in which our results will be right so the first abbreviation is o right what does this mean this means that outside of a named entity so this is the first result that we can get which is o okay what is the next result the next result can be b m i s so what does this mean this means that it is the beginning of a miscellaneous entity right after an other miscellaneous entity right so the result can also be i m i s which means it is a miscellaneous entity right it can be b p e r right so what does this mean b p e r just means that beginning of a person's name right after an other person's name right so whenever we get this result which is b p e r we will know that it means that big it is the beginning of a person's name after another person's name right so for example like peter parker if it picks parker as a uh, you know another name right then it will tell that it is bper which means that parker is uh, the second name after the first name right so iper is the person's name b o r g 
इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट आफ्टर एन अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट आई ओ आर जी इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज सेल्फ इन द सेम वे बी एल ओ सी इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ लोकेशन राइट आफ्टर एन अदर लोकेशन एंड आई एल ओ सी इज द लोकेशन इट सेल्फ राइट सो वी नीड टू नो ऑल ऑफ दीज टर्म्स वाई इज दैट बिकॉज आवर रिजल्ट विल बी इन दिस फॉर्मेट राइट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट to learn about the results better then we'll have to understand uh, what all of those means right now that we have seen them what is the next step the next step is actually to get the results it is the last step as i have told you it is a very easy mechanism the only thing that we need to uh, you know be sure about here is that we uh, understand what each entity means so that when we get the results we can uh, make something out of them right so results is equal to classify and in classify i am going to write data right so it's saying classify is not defined c is big okay so now let me show you the results so there we go this is the result right now we can see a few of them and understand uh, what we were talking about before right so first let's actually do this so that we can see both of these things together right there we go so it is saying that spider is a bper what is a bper it is beginning of a person's name right after another person sorry i click that i shouldn't have done that in the same what is i m i c s c this is the one so it is the miscellaneous entity right so it is saying that this is the miscellaneous entity and man is the person so i p e r person's name right it is speaking it as that and b m i s c american is b m i s c what is b m i s c this will be the one beginning of a miscellaneous entity after another miscellaneous entity so i think you understand what it means right so it is saying that comics is an organization right and it is saying that marvel which came before comics right it, the word was marvel comics so it is saying that it is b o r g right so beginning of an organization right after another organization right so this is how the, this works and when we get these results what we can do later is we can just print out the entities right if we want what we can do after this is we can print out these entities this 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 it is not a very tricky uh, uh, task a simple for loop will just get us out all the entities that are available here right and with the entity we can uh, you know bring in the word as well right so bringing the word in as well as the entity in as well as the start and end if we want to right so we can make a csv file out of that and then we can uh, present that csv file to uh, you know anyone that we want so if you want me to do that uh, let me know in the comments although it is very much easy and i know if you have seen my previous videos as well you can do that very much easily right so this is it for today uh, i wanted to showcase you how we can use bert right to uh, you know do named entity recognition previously we did another video which was uh, related to bert right and it focused merely on uh, the question answering system with the help of bert right and this is another one and uh, i'll keep making th these videos right so there is another video actually which was just posted last week that was related to summarization and with the help of pegasus right so i like to uh, teach all of these transformers right so i have teached gpt3 pegasus transformers and uh, this uh, you know bert and t5 as well right so uh, now you would let me know uh, what uh, is the next transformer and what are the next uh, you know uh, things on which you want to see the videos right so keep watching ai studio for more videos like that and do not forget to 
watch our you know best video which was on gpt3 question answer and uh, it will show you and help you a lot on uh, development of gpt3 based architectures so thank you for watching a studio goodbye